hey guys welcome to my channel in today's video we are doing how to slay your makeup when you go to work i don't know if slay is still a word that people use but anyway i just used it so i'm gonna show you how i get ready for work some of my makeup tricks and also i'll be telling you a little bit about my career and some career advice that i've learned along the way i really hope you guys will enjoy this video please like subscribe and comment down below so first things first, um, when I go to work, I don't do crazy eyebrows, so I just go in with soap and a spoolie and I just brush my eyebrows up. So yeah, just talking a little bit about, you know, my topic at hand, women in corporate, your career and stuff so i won't touch uh into like entrepreneurship because i'm not an entrepreneur i work full-time i have a a seven to four so unlike people that have a nine to five your goal gets work at seven in the morning so that has been my life for the last five years uh but yeah i have been working for six years in total the biggest thing i've learned in my career is there's only so much that your skill your and your talent and your abilities will take you so even though you can have the most amazing like skills and you can be extremely talented if you have a bad attitude and people that you are working with work for don't really uh, vibe with you like that it's harder for you to advance in your career so a lot of people just think that you can just graduate and step into corporate and things will just happen uh, no I mean when I first started my first job I was a graduate and I just assumed you know what i'm here i studied i made it there were hundreds of other applicants but i was the chosen one you know the that entitled bullshit mentality that i had and i just thought that things will just like my career will just fall into place because i have a degree i got distinctions i just assumed that things will just fall into place and unfortunately or fortunately for me the biggest lesson I learned, especially when I was there, like a graduate, is that's not how life works. You know, people don't necessarily feel that you are just great just because you have a degree. And my manager just thought I was this entitled millennial and basically because of that i wasn't really doing that well um at like in terms of securing a permanent position because i was on a graduate program and cool by god's grace i applied for a job and at my current company now and i started there as a junior and I didn't know anything about the, the industry that I was going into. And I was basically thrown into the deep end because there was no one there to, to kind of guide me. So I had to like either sink or swim. And I got there and I just started learning and I started, you know, kind of realizing that no one basically owes you anything but also people are there to help you and you shouldn't be annoyed at all when you especially when you're trying to grow and you're trying to better yourself ask for help but be proactive like study like show up like you know what like don't be the person that feels like you're entitled to first of all help or information no like if you're given a task go and try it fail and then ask for help Okay, we're gonna pause on that let's talk about foundation guys so i'm done with my eyebrows as you can see 
simple easy cleans them up with concealer these are the, my go-to foundations for work these two are high-end and you can get them at sephora and this one is a maybelline one which you can get at discam or clicks a hundred bucks guys it is a matte foundation uh, i love it first of all because it's cheap but i'm also a big maybelline fan they do quality products it gives you good coverage and this color matches me perfectly so if you can get a color in this foundation i would highly suggest that you go get it okay but your girl is going in with fenty so this is the same foundation that i used in my previous video yeah so guys so that's like what i have learned so if i were to like advise the younger me stepping into a job after graduating thinking she's hot shit i would say you are hot shit <laughs> okay uh you didn't end up there by mistake um god ordered your steps there and also you earned it i mean i worked really hard in varsity i mean i worked hard i got good marks like i wasn't just a I just didn't go through varsity no i worked my butt off and i got the marks that i got and i and i learned you know so i was deserving to be there but my attitude you know what my attitude was a good and a bad thing at the same time i am very opinionated and i am very much a believer in my skills so sometimes i might be insecure but i i know what i bring to the table and i just don't accept any mediocre salary i don't accept mediocre situations because i know that when i'm on your team i am bringing my best but with that being said at that time i was very entitled i thought that if i'm like the fact that i'm here i show up for work is enough like i was so entitled i thought to myself i don't know what i thought but when i think back on it it i feel like a part of me felt like i was doing that company a favor <laughs> even though i needed the job uh, guys i'm going in with my maybelline fit me concealer also another discam uh clicks product and i'm just adding guys i don't know why i'm going ham because for work i don't go this crazy i just go slip it so that's that's like you know something that i learned that no matter how good i was at my job no matter how good i was at uh like the great marks that i got i just like if the people i work with didn't necessarily believe in me especially in corporate or feel that i am uh worthy of i'm not worthy not the worthy but my attitude i think didn't really help in me securing a job uh there and i didn't network i just assumed that me showing up for work would be enough for me to to get the job that i want and all that so yeah that's biggest lesson is do not feel entitled when you get to a job know that you are there to learn know that there are people that know more than you be open to learning be open to criticism and also remember that you need to network and your attitude speaks volumes so if people see you doing a great job but no one wants to work with you then what is the point you know like what's the point because even though you can execute the work the minute they find someone that can do the same work even if they're not doing it as perfect as you they will replace you because people will be like you know what i would rather deal with someone that is uh not as perfect 
but has a better attitude and i think a lot of people just intend to forget that like people just think just because you're good at your job and you're good at something that that should be enough guys you people okay people promote people okay so your boss or or an executive or whatever has to be the person that will make the call as to whether you should be promoted or not guys i'm going in with my mac studio fix um foundation powder foundation and i'm not setting my face with translucent powder today because if i'm going to work i'm like trying to get out the door as quickly as i can so that is why i am setting with this face powder all over my face next thing i'm gonna use my black radiance press powder to um just bronze my face another big thing that i feel that women also struggle with is negotiating their salary i feel like women just intend to like and guys i'm not saying all women so don't come at me and just make it like dramatic but i feel like women sometimes just intend to undervalue themselves that they will intend to accept um whatever mediocre salary like a man will just demand what they want and in a lot of cases they will get what they want with us i don't know we just want to be humble and whatever like dude if i'm bringing skill to the table and i know what i can bring and i know what i'm offering pay me for that period like like don't come here with mediocre salary like no like keep your salary kind of thing you know and i'm talking if you're in a position to negotiate i'm not saying uh do that when you are like unemployed and you need a job and whatever no i'm saying if you are especially if you have like with me i have a lot of experience in in my current field so when i apply for a job or when i get approached by a company for a job i know exactly uh what i want and there are a lot of things that i factor in i don't just factor in growth i factor in my lifestyle i factor in my investments i factor in my age and i factor in the skill that i'm bringing to the table so when we start negotiating about salaries girl i'm already ready i'm ready to tell you this is how much i want to get paid this is how much i'm bringing this is what i'm bringing to the table if you feel that i'm too expensive for you i'll find someone else that is willing to pay me so negotiate but don't negotiate do not demand a salary without having anything to back it up with like when you go in and negotiate for a salary you negotiate for an increase you need to go in with facts don't make it emotion based because you know women are emotional don't go in with emotion you go in with pure facts this is what i've accomplished this is what i'm bringing to the table this is the changes i've made the impact that i've made and because of that i feel that uh i deserve this increase or i deserve to get paid this much you know and then it can start a dialogue and it can start a negotiation but you need to be very tactical about it see the three eyeshadow palettes that i wanted to show you are drugstore which is from your tricks and your disc game so these two are makeup revolution which you get from tricks and this one you get from this game is beauty treats they are all under 200 rand and they have neutral tones so you can use them every single day i just wanted to show you guys that so that you know uh you have options of what you're going to use um you know guys this is my favorite palette this is the beauty treat rose gold nude and i'm gonna use that one i only need like two or three colors and it never disappoints me so that's what i'm going in so as there's this book uh lean in by cheryl sandberg it has been out for a few years already and it is one of my favorite books that book changed my life i mean if you don't know who cheryl sandberg is 
She's the COO of Facebook. Well, I still hope she is. I haven't researched her a lot lately, but she's the COO of Facebook. She was part of Google when Google started up. Yes, girl. She's an author. She has two books. So she's a boss, babe. Like, she is everything, you know? And she's a woman in leadership and leadership in technology. You know, this is the space that I'm in. And reading her book, I mean, she's a mother um, and she used to be a, a wife. Uh, her husband passed away just after she wrote this book. But one of the things she was saying there is, you can be a good mother, you can be a good wife, and you can be a very successful woman. You know, you can advance in your career. You can be great in your career. It doesn't mean one should take away from the other. And it's so crazy. Sometimes you see women that, and that feel that if you are like a working wife or mother, and guys, I'm not a mother. So, but I mean, I just know like, sometimes you'll have conversations with people and men also feel that, you know what, if you go to work full time, who's raising your kids, someone else is raising your kids, blah, 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 blah. But I'm like, it doesn't mean if I'm physically able to have kids, that is all I was meant to do. I mean, yes, I am able to have kids, but there is more to me than that, you know. And when I hear people just assuming that just because you are like a mom or whatever that you need to like be sitting your ass at home taking care of kids i'm like nah that's crazy you know like you can literally advance yourself you can be badass and still be an amazing mom and shop for your kids and shop for your husband i mean men have been doing this for years they've been fathers and husbands and no one has been criticizing them so you better leave us alone but yeah, the things that she says in those in that book is just amazing. I mean, she talks about oh, like my favorite thing is showing up. Um and it's when you are invited to a table, be at the table. Show up. Uh and I use that a lot in my career. If I'm in a meeting and I'm in a boardroom and I am supposed to be in that meeting. I will speak. My opinion is important. My opinion is valuable and I am definitely going to give it. I used to shy away. I'm not a shy person, but I used to shy away because I used to feel that there is someone that knows more than me. And yes, there will be people that know more than you. But so what? At some point, they didn't know anything either. So the fact that they know more than you is not your problem. You know, so that's, that's literally, that is what I do when I go to work. I'm so extra, right? But I literally have two colors. I have a lid color and I have shimmer. And that is me, literally. Like this is, when you're seeing this, you are seeing me basically done for work. And I might just take like maybe just a bit of eyeshadow and add it at the bottom. That's another lesson is when, you sh when you're invited to the table, show up and be there, girl. I said your attitude and guys, just adding mascara. This is the Total Temptation Mascara by Maybelline. I don't add false lashes when I go to work. So we are literally, if we're not done with this, this is basically the last step. But maybe I should like drag it on because I want to make this valid point. Oh, I learned a trick the other day. When you want to do your bottom lashes, you just bend your mascara wand a bit and then you'll see the magic. See? Guys, look at that. The chance of you messing yourself up is like slim to none. You need to be good at your job. 
that people cannot ignore you. You need to be so good that when people feel that they're going to lose you, they see you as an asset. People, everyone is replaceable. But just make it a little bit extra hard for them to replace you with someone else. People kind of know that you are valuable, that you are an asset, and that you're not easily replaceable. Because you know what, you don't want to be redundant. You don't want them to like chuck you out like, like nothing. And also, if you're good at your job, you don't have time to be jealous of the next person. Which is another point I want to get into. Women in leadership, stop bullying people. Uplift other women. Do not see the next person as your competition. Do not see... Oh, guys, sorry. I'm going in with this LA girl uh, lipstick. It's not a matte lipstick. It's quite comfortable on the lips. And I love it because it's a little bit shiny. And it's nude. So I just look cute. And it's very comfortable. So I wear glasses every day. Uh, I'm going off topic now. But I wear glasses every day. And that is why I don't wear false lashes or put on any lashes when I go to the office. Because I just feel like it just it makes the whole situation uncomfortable with the whole day with glasses. And now you have all these lashes, just something that I don't do. And because of after you're wearing glasses, you get like this thing here. I usually just have a powder. And I just usually just pat on the sides here and here, depending on where... So I always have powder. So when I'm not wearing my glasses, I can just fix myself up and I can look brand new. So that is just where we at. I don't put highlighter. I think I mentioned that before my camera switched off. But I don't put highlighter because it's an overkill and my eyebrows look more natural. A lot of the times I go to work with my afro, but now it is struggling. Like struggle. I'm even thinking of cutting it. So now I'll be a wig kind of girl, which ah, I don't know how you all do it every day, but it's such a mission. But that's what I'm doing right now with my life. But yeah, back on some career advice. Constantly grow, push your boundaries, be ambitious, have a plan for your career. If you want to go the corporate route, career route, um, have a plan for your life. Like you need to know what skills you need to obtain what skills you you need to grow what you need to perfect for you to get to the next level of your career don't just sit back and think life will happen to you don't just sit back and think that uh just because you have a degree that that is enough do short courses like you know like upskill yourself as much as you can and right now we have companies that pay for that like where i work they pay for studying so why not use that opportunity if you have a company that can fund your 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 studies like do that you don't have to do the traditional route of getting an honors getting a master's like in my field in it um things change every day so what is a master's really going to do and i mean in the past those things used to mean like a hell of a lot but right now either you're providing value or you're not like a degree is not necessarily something that like for instance when i'm hiring i look for um i feel like yes if you have studied it gives me an impression that okay cool you committed to something for a certain amount of time but it boils down to experience and the value that you're going to give if i'm paying you right now i want you to add value right now but if you're gonna just come here with a master's and you don't have actual experience now fam i'd rather get some of the experience pay them cheaper and you can take your qualification somewhere else and guys i'm an academic so i am not uh, disregarding studying and advancing yourself but i'm saying that is you can advance your career in a different route it doesn't have to be the traditional university masters phd kind of you don't have to go down that path you can go short courses experience seminars stuff like that and actually have real life real time experience the now like study your industry to know what are the latest trends in the industry what are the latest skills required and also what are the things that are replacing you like 
for me i know that like in my career like there's a shift in methodology and how things are done so that is the sh this way i am going because of i'll be replaceable if i don't do that and no your girl is still young so i still need my job so yeah and another thing my last point i promise guys then i'll be done do not let people make you feel bad for having a seven to four nine to five eight to five kind of job not everyone is an entrepreneur not everyone is meant to be an entrepreneur being an entrepreneur is not an easy thing to do it requires a lot of work so don't ever feel bad that you work like don't like don't fall for these things where people are like you're making someone else rich blah 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 you know what uh even if i start a business i need employees so being an employee is not a bad thing it's nothing to be ashamed of like be proud and own it like don't feel bad that you you not starting a business or you're not an entrepreneur or you're not going to be the latest and greatest startup and whatever like no 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 girl like and you can have a business and still work like i enjoy my job it gives me a comfortable life and I meet different people. It stimulates my mind. I'm constantly growing. So I'm like, I'm quite happy in my career. And I also believe that what contributes more to it is the people that I work with. I work for a small company. So that really helps a lot. But yeah, guys, that is my two cents. I would really love to hear your thoughts on one of the best career advice you've received. What experiences have you had in terms of bullying or people not transferring any knowledge are you currently in management how are you handling that like being a manager is not the easiest thing humans are difficult humans are like something else so i would really love to hear more about it and yeah guys for those that want to read the book it is lean in by cheryl sandberg I have the audio book, but there is an actual physical copy that you can buy on Take A Lot or any bookstore. Uh, yeah, so that is my two cents. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really, really enjoyed filming it. And I'm going to try and incorporate some advice, some chit chat into my videos because these conversations are the conversations I live for. I listen to audiobooks i listen to podcasts i listen to interviews this is my daily life like this is what i basically take in so sharing all this information oh that makes me so happy so i hope you learned a thing or two like i said like subscribe comment down below click that notification bell support your girl we are growing we've been consistent and <laughs> yeah Thank you.